Hi, this is Roy Neiswanger from MotleyPixel.com. Today I'm going to briefly demonstrate how I process my Canon RAW photographs in Adobe Photoshop CS4. Um, I do take one prior step to bringing it over to CS4 and that is to edit the RAW in Adobe Lightroom 2.2. I do port that over to um, Photoshop CS4 using Adobe Canon RAW ACR 5.2. I bring it over as a 16-bit TIFF, 300 DPI, sRGB. So what I want to talk to you about today is how you can further enhance a photograph, especially like a macro or a close-up or nature shot where uh, there's a definitive difference between the blurry background, bokeh, and the actual detailed subject. I want to enhance that with noise reduction and a detail enhancer's filter. Here we have a yellow crown night herring and um, I'm going to first take the background layer and I'm going to duplicate it by bringing it, grabbing it and dragging it down to this icon. Next thing I want to do is I want to create a layer mask on the new layer, highlight the intelligence mask or the original mask here, and then I want to go up to filter and I want to apply noise reduction noise reduction I highly recommend is ImageNomics Noiseware Professional. This is going to apply noise reduction globally to the entire image. I use the default settings. Um, I haven't tweaked anything. I haven't read any details on, on what's best, but I do find that the default level does do a healthy amount of noise reduction. Works very well. So let's go ahead and apply this noise reduction. Okay, now the noise reduction is applied and you can see um, a lot of difference especially in the background but one thing you have to understand is this is applied globally to the entire image noise reduction removes detail so I want to remove some of the noise reduction in the detail areas in other words the bird so the way I do that is I select the layer mask as shown in white here I want to ensure that I've selected black as my color black removes white introduces back the filter go to the paintbrush um, zero hardness change your diameter that looks about right and I want to start tracing inside the detail area and removing the noise reduction although I don't want to remove 100 percent of the noise reduction I want to move about remove about 50 percent we're at 50 percent opacity and I'm going to start painting in the detail areas away 50% of the noise reduction. So just trace, trace the bird. Some of the areas that you start to see blurring, especially the corners and edges, um, try not to paint that out. We want noise reduction there. And I'll let go. You can see here faintly the outline in a, a light gray. It's not opaque black, so we're not removing 100% of the noise reduction. So let's go ahead and fill this in and increase the brush size some and let's paint away that noise reduction in the detail areas. Okay, looking at the layer mask you can see how uh, I painted away some of that noise reduction in the layer mask. Okay, next step I want to duplicate all layers using Control alt shift e We have a new layer shown here. I want to create another layer mask now I want to use a filter I highly recommend for really popping the details. This filter is by Topaz Labs called Topaz Adjust 3. So let's bring that filter dialog up. Okay, real quick, again this is Topaz Adjust 3. I created a default profile called General Start. Okay, You have four tabs here. Please pay attention to all of these levels. Um, they may not be defaults. Uh, I've used this for at least a year now and I've been very pleased with the results and I've tweaked along the way and found that these settings work quite well. Brightness 21, I might go ahead and bring that up to 0.28. Contrast, I do want to bring the contrast up a little bit on this bird. So, Over in details, I think everything is default out of the package here. Uh, except for sharpen, uh, my profile has set at 1.31. 1, 1 I want to bring the detail up to about 1.55. That looks good. Color, I leave that all the same. I mean, just minor adjustments here uh, in the saturation and saturation boost will really, really 
uh, sometimes oversaturated. So let's go back to the full preview. You can toggle view original by holding this button down. That's the original. And then let go. And then that's the, uh, that's the enhanced version. Let's go ahead and apply this filter globally to the entire image. Okay, now Topaz Adjust 3 is applied to the entire image. Let's go ahead and select the layer mask. And in this case, I want to do the exact opposite to the prior layer mask in that I want to remove all of the Topaz Adjust 3 detail from the background but leave it on the bird. So it makes the bird pop and it mutes the background. For the removal of Topaz uh, Adjust 3, uh, I want to have 100% flow and opacity on the brush and take 100% of that filter away. So now I'm going to trace around in the background areas around the bird here and you can actually see it as you mask out Topaz filter you can see uh, that it darkens because that filter does bring up the levels so go over here you can see that I've outlined the bird and it is black opaque black so 100% was removed unlike this layer mask here so let's go ahead and increase that brush size and get this work knocked out. Okay, you can see I painted away all the Topaz Adjust 3 in this layer. Now I want to go again, duplicate all visible layers, Control, Alt, Shift, E. I want to make another layer mask just in case. Now these final steps, I want to take a look at the levels. So I'll go up to Image, Adjustment, and Levels. I see here that uh, uh, that we're really far away from any highlights so I want to take this slider move it down say to uh, 244 that looks about right and also there's a lot of data here in the black so I want to move the median to the left to about 104 and that looks good so now what I want to do whenever I'm done working in Photoshop I always do a save as 16-bit TIFF without layers this is going to be my print version, okay? And then, of course, after that, I'll have to go to image mode, go to 8 bits, and then save that as um, an 8 bit JPEG. Do a save as 8 bit JPEG, and this particular JPEG is going to be 12 quality, highest maximum quality, and save it as JPEG. So now what I want to do is toggle through two different versions here real quick. I did an export from Lightroom only, and then I did an export or a save with Lightroom plus the Photoshop adjustments I've shown you here. Um, and then you can compare, uh, you can see the comparison between the two images in this video. Okay, here is a image viewer called Fastone Image Viewer. It's a free, uh, free application. Um, it's a great uh, tool to preview your RAWs and JPEGs and to organize, uh, batch rename, etc. It's very fast, and very fast and efficient. It's very fast and efficient with RAWs. I highly recommend this application. Again, it's Fastone Image Viewer. I'm using version 3.2. So let's do a preview here of the Lightroom only and then the Lightroom plus the Photoshop adjustments. Here is the Lightroom only and now Lightroom plus Photoshop. Going back to Lightroom only. Let's zoom into this area here. You can see the noise in the bokeh in the background. That's the Lightroom only. Let's scroll over now to the Lightroom plus Photoshop. And there's the Lightroom plus Photoshop. You can see more details and levels now in, in the detail, the bird and then of course the noise is reduced in the background. So that concludes this tutorial. Um, there will be original full-size versions to compare um, at the Motley Pixel community forum under the tutorials forum board and also um, check out the link that references this this video on our Facebook page the Motley Pixel and we also have a Flickr group as well the Motley Pixel. Thank you.